This video I'm going to speak about uh, Mike Tyson achieving fame in Hong Kong. Um, I actually don't know much about it, but I just heard this from my dad. And basically, if this information is true, I just wanted to share my reflection on it. So there's this movie, Yip Man 3, that just came out with Mike Tyson and Donnie Yen. And, um, you know, it's a martial arts movie. And in America... You know, it opened maybe just a couple weeks ago, and it's not that popular. I mean, it's in theaters, but you can't just find it in any theater, you know. You gotta go to selected theaters, and obviously it's not as popular as, you know, something like Star Wars. I mean, it's impossible for a martial arts movie to achieve that type of, um, you know, public appreciation. But you could tell that it's just another movie that came out not not a big deal but my father told me that in Hong Kong or in China um, it broke the box office records you know because not because of Donnie Yen but because of Mike Tyson and you know hearing that information it just becomes very interesting to me to see that it's like the Chinese are really drawn to Americans um, they really appreciate Mike Tyson and they're giving him a lot of you know recognition and respect and fame um, but you look at back in the day when Bruce Lee's time in the 1970s Bruce Lee didn't get any respect in America you know he went to Hong Kong and then they gave him respect over there they gave him fame and gave him attention and everything over there but if you look at it nowadays, the Chinese American is not given respect or opportunities in Hollywood in America. And even if he goes back to China, it's, you know, in Hong Kong, nobody even really makes a big deal. You know, like Donnie Yen, Jack Chan, Jet Li. I mean, it's just something that's not a big deal. But what is a big deal over in Hong Kong right now? Mike Tyson. You know, so. It's not Mike Tyson being in the movie over here in America. They didn't make a big deal. They don't care. He's, he's not going to win an Oscar. But then over in Hong Kong, he's um, a superstar. So you just see how things have changed so much. You know, it's almost like, like back in the day, you know, Hong Kong really appreciated Bruce Lee, a Chinese person. But imagine like today it's like it's almost like back then you know Bruce Lee making a movie with Chuck Norris and then Chuck Norris ends up getting more fame than Bruce Lee like say the return of the dragon instead of Bruce Lee you know getting fame and recognition for the movie they gave all the recognition and fame to Chuck Norris and the only reason why the, the movie becomes a box office hit is not because of Bruce Lee but it's because of Chuck Norris I mean imagine that back then but that's essentially what's happening right now like Donnie Yen is essentially like the Bruce Lee the Chinese American and then Mike Tyson is like the new Chuck Norris and then everybody in Hong Kong is just so um, in awe over Mike